Deployment refers to the process of making software available for users to access and use. This typically means moving the software from the development environment where it is built and tested to a production environment which is a live system where real users interact with it. Imagine you are running a popular pizza delivery app called Pizza Hub. Every week your developers work hard to improve the app, fixing bugs, adding features or updating the interface. But here is the tricky part. How do you release these changes to your millions of customers without breaking the app or disrupting their experience? That's where a deployment strategy comes in. A deployment strategy is like your game plan for releasing updates. In this video, we are diving into some of the most widely used deployment strategies, exploring how tech giants like Netflix, Amazon, and Facebook release features with minimal downtime and maximum efficiency. So, let's get started. Rolling deployment is a strategy where new versions of an application are incrementally deployed to servers or instances while gradually replacing the old versions. This ensures that some servers always run on the older version until the process completes, allowing a seamless transition without downtime. So in rolling deployment, you update one or two servers with the new version while the rest handle traffic with the old version. You then check for errors or performance issues on updated servers before proceeding. You then gradually replace the old version with the new version on more servers. And once all servers are updated, the traffic runs entirely on the new version. So the traffic can be managed using a load balancer. A load balancing here can dynamically route traffic to the available servers, ensuring that users are served regardless of whether they are connected to an old or an updated server. Traffic is evenly distributed across updated and non-updated servers during this process. Rolling deployment is ideal for large-scale systems where minimizing downtime and risk is crucial, making it a go-to choice for companies like Netflix, LinkedIn, or Spotify. Netflix uses rolling deployments to update its streaming services regionally. It starts with a few servers in one area, monitors for issues, and then expands to the other regions, ensuring millions of users experience no interruptions. So the main advantage of rolling deployment is zero downtime. That is, users continue to access the application during deployment. However, in rolling deployment, users might interact with different app versions during the rollout. And also, rolling back requires reverting only to the updated servers, which can become complex. With blue-green deployment, you maintain two identical environments, one running the live version blue and the other hosting the new version green. Once the new version is ready, you simply switch traffic from blue to green. So the blue environment runs the current stable version and the green environment is prepared with the new version. Traffic is routed to green once the new version passed all the tests. And if something breaks, you can instantly switch back to blue. Traffic switching in blue-green deployment is seamless and efficient. A load balancer like AWS Elastic Load Balancer or Nginx updates its rules to redirect traffic to the green environment instantly, ensuring zero disruption for users. Alternatively, an API gateway such as AWS API Gateway or APG adjusts routing at the API layer to achieve the same result. While DNS updates can also reroute traffic, they are slower due to propagation delays and are less suited for instant transitions. Throughout, performance and logs are monitored in real time, and if issues arise, traffic can be swiftly reverted back to the blue environment using the same configuration. In fact, Shopify uses blue-green deployment to release updates to its platform for millions of stores. For instance, when rolling out a new analytics dashboard, Shopify deploys it to a green environment test thoroughly and switches live traffic only after verifying stability. One major advantage of blue-green deployment is its ability to offer quick rollback. If something goes wrong, you can instantly switch back to the previous environment without disrupting users. It also ensures isolation, allowing you to test new updates in a completely separate production-like setup without impacting the live system. However, it's resource intensive because as you need to maintain two identical environments, and synchronizing databases between the two can become quite complex. Canary deployment is a strategy where a new version of the application is gradually rolled out to a small subset of users known as Canary users, while the majority of users continue using the old version. This approach helps in testing the new version in production with real user traffic, minimizing the risk of wide-scale issues. So basically, you deploy the new version to a small group of users, monitor metrics like error rates, performance, and user behavior. And then you gradually increase traffic to the new version until all users are switched over. Netflix frequently uses Canary deployments to test updates to the recommendation engine or streaming infrastructure. 
For example, they may test a new algorithm for 5% of users to evaluate if it improves user engagement metrics. Feature flags or feature toggles let you deploy new features to production but keep them off by default. You can activate the feature for specific user groups without redeploying the code. Here, you deploy the new feature with the flag set to off. You then gradually enable the feature for small user groups. The feature flag here is toggled to enable the feature for small subset of users, say 20% in the diagram. You then monitor performance and turn the feature on for everyone if successful, or turn it off if issues are arising. Companies like Facebook, Google, and Amazon use them extensively to release features quickly and reliably. Facebook, in fact, often uses feature flags for its UI updates. For instance, a new like button design might be toggled for 1% of users initially. If it performs well, they expand the rollout, and if not, they toggle it off without a full rollback. So the main advantage of feature flags is that features can be activated or deactivated without redeployment. It also allows gradual rollouts to specific user groups for better testing. However, managing multiple feature flags can make the code base harder to maintain. In fact, Flags for unused or old features can accumulate if not cleaned up properly. A-B testing, also known as split testing, is a deployment and experimentation strategy where two versions of a system, feature, or UI are deployed simultaneously to different user groups. The goal here is to compare their performance based on specific metrics such as user engagement, conversions, or click-through rates to determine which version performs better. So basically here, you split traffic into two groups. Group A sees the old version and Group B sees the new version. You track metrics like user engagement or conversion rates. You then analyze results and deploy the version that performs better. Amazon leverages A-B testing to optimize product recommendations. In this process, version A shows recommendation based on browsing history, while version B uses a new algorithm considering trends and user demographics. Traffic is split evenly with metrics like purchase rates and engagement tracked. If version B outperforms, Amazon rolls it out to all the users, ensuring data-driven enhancements to the shopping experience. Selecting a deployment strategy depends on your application's architecture, risk tolerance, and resource availability. For instance, you may use blue-green deployment if a rollback speed and isolations are critical. You can opt for rolling deployment in a high-scale systems with zero downtime requirements. You leverage feature flags for flexibility and agility in enabling or disabling features. You can consider canary deployment when testing new features with minimal impact. And also apply A-B testing for experimentation and data-driven improvements. Deployment isn't just about shipping code. It's about delivering value without disrupting the user experience. Each strategy we have explored here, whether it is rolling, blue-green, canary, feature flags, or A-B testing, has its own strengths and trade-offs. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into the real-world deployment workflows, including how top companies integrate these strategies with CI-CD pipeline.